I think we've all wondered at least once, what's the deal with Dispatch? They seem to know everything about everyone, sometimes even better than the people involved. I mean, remember when they posted a transcript of the conversations between the AOA members that happened inside Mina's home? Just insane. But who exactly is behind Dispatch? Why do they have the entirety of the K-pop industry in the palm of their hands? And how far are they willing to go to obtain the information they need? And are they the ones who are pulling the strings behind the curtain? What Dispatch is famous for nowadays is what made them stand out amongst other media outlets in the first place, dating news and doing everything to get the best secret stories. Dispatch was launched in March of 2011 and was actually made up of 11 staff members, but the company didn't take off until 2013 when they exposed their first celebrity couple. Unlike other outlets who keep the name of celebrities under wraps with rumors told through several unidentified associates, Dispatch focused their efforts on exposing the facts with hard picture evidence. The staff members allegedly worked hard to infiltrate the entertainment industry and get a lot of secret sources. It's rumored that they work closely with the staff of various entertainment companies, and these days, they're in touch with the people who run them, too. They're also the reason why on the first day of each year, Korean celebrities, idols, and their fans tremble in fear. The reason behind this fear lies in Dispatch's twisted tradition to reveal dating rumors and paparazzi on January 1st of each year. Until now, Dispatch has built up quite a reputation as one of the best sources for up-to-date news and paparazzi photos of Korean celebrities. As a result, many artists are mentally stressed and in pain because they know very well that every step they make is being watched. But despite all the damage they do, especially to female idols who always seem to be the target of raging fans, Dispatch seems to plan on continuing to follow celebrities around and take photos during private moments of their lives. So in conclusion, they're basically the Korean version of TMZ, but just a bit shadier in the way of doing business and in how they reveal the news at times. They seem to like sticking to the big name shocking news because obviously that's what sells. But like America's TMZ, they are a legit company and have connections within the industry, and these connections are actually crazier than you might think. Where do they even find these insiders, you may ask? You thought entertainment companies only hired trusted people who wouldn't go blabbering around at the first chance? Well, sometimes the staff likes to talk. What's more important is going through the timeline of their reveals, their negative, and very rarely positive impacts of it all, just so we can get a bit of an understanding behind them. Couple exposés. The Western music industry is quite open when it comes to dating. Such news when revealed is usually met with cheer or shrugged off since people don't seem to care that much about the private relationships of strangers. There are even instances of celebrities calling paparazzi on themselves so they can have pictures of themselves in tabloids to build up excitement and attention for themselves and their careers. I mean, even Kim Kardashian admitted that at the beginning of her career, she would be the one following paparazzi around and sometimes even call them to be photographed at the best places. Half of the TikTok influencers do the same, and it clearly works to some extent. The rules are very different for K-pop though, where it's often frowned upon for celebrities, or rather K-pop stars, to be openly dating. And that's the nicest way I can put it. In an industry where the stars are marketed as objects, over whom their fans have the ultimate say and are their ideal fantasy partner, the actual idols often can't have their own private lives. Dating is a big deal that can lead to the end of one's career, and so idols many times just hide their relationships from the public eye. Most agencies and companies that handle these artists have dating bans where it's put in the contract itself that the artist cannot date for a number of years. It used to be two to three years, but now it's usually five. However, that doesn't mean dating doesn't happen. Idols still find a way around these obstacles and try to be together if they like each other. Secret meetings, hidden messages, and more are used. Back in the day, the legendary Hyuna actually revealed that their company would encourage them to date, but they warned them to not get caught. So the dating ban is not really a ban unless it comes out. And these idols probably would have maintained their relationships peacefully if it weren't for Dispatch. Not a happy new year. Dispatch doesn't have an official reason for revealing dating rumors on January 1st, but it might be because revealing whatever news they have on the first day of the new year attracts the most attention, unlike other days. Since 2013, Dispatch has revealed celebrity couples every new year except for 2017 and 2020. Whether it's because they genuinely didn't have anything, or it was because they wanted to make a huge marketing stunt to get themselves more website traffic, we don't know. But the damage that was done to their reputation took a lot of time to undo. Starting from 2008, Dispatch has almost every year on the 1st of January revealing a new couple that was dating at the time. In 2013, the news of actress Kim Taehee and Rain was revealed by Dispatch. After that, in 2014, they exposed Lee Seung Gi and SNSD's Yuna, while in 2016, it was JYG's Junsu and EXID's Honey. Let's actually look at the timeline of the iconic couples they revealed and what consequences were there to be carried. 2013, Rain and Kim Taehee. Rain and actress Kim Taehee were the beginning of the January 1st tradition of Dispatch. Because both of them have been in the entertainment industry for 
for such a long time and were at the peak of their careers at the time, their romance was a huge news in the nation. Dispatch revealed that they had been dating for three months prior to their expose and that they had first met in October 2011 through a commercial shoot for a social commerce company, Coupon. Rain and Gim Pei admitted to their relationship and got married in January 2017. They now live with their two beautiful daughters, so as you can see, Dispatch didn't really ruin their careers or lives. 2014, Baekhyun and Taehyun. Taehyun and Baekhyun are both under SM Entertainment, which is how they met each other in 2011. Taehyun was a mentor figure to Baekhyun, who joined SM as a trainee. The pair didn't confirm their relationship until 2014, but fans had speculated that something was going on after they noticed that Baekhyun and Taehyun wore the same items such as bracelets, headphones, and sunglasses. The relationship was confirmed in fans' eyes when they were both pictured on a date together by Dispatch. They were even photographed in a car on a late night drive together with a roof down. But even though the reveal of Rain and Taehee's relationship had a happy ending to it, Baekhyun and Taehyun's was more like a horror show. They broke up with the standard conflicting schedule excuse, but the hate Taehyun got when the news broke out was honestly sickening. EXO fans at the time saw the fact that the two were in a relationship as the worst thing to have ever happened and solely blamed Taehyun for it instead of Dispatch for breaching their privacy and then exposing them when they know how fans treat female idols, especially when they're dating a fan favorite. Taehyun even apologized for dating someone she liked. She was called the worst names possible and I can only imagine how her mental health suffered. 2016, Kai and Crystal. This one is another relationship that was exposed by Dispatch before the couple was ready to go public together and some people saw it as a reason to hate on an innocent female idol. On April 1st, 2016, EXO's Kai and FX's Crystal were reported to be dating, but because it was reported on April 1st, many thought that it was an April Fool's joke. They dated for a year before breaking up, but the fans didn't let this relationship go easily. I won't even speak on the hate Kai and Crystal got, but the couple was even criticized for not addressing their fans personally. I mean, it's not like they owe them any excuse for loving someone. A reporter said, The reason that fans are so angry right now is because their idols have shattered the images that they've built up since debut. Rather than living up to the trustworthy images they've built up, they've now just become two idols who care more about their own dating life than maintaining trust with their fans. Which is basically saying that they should put their parasocial relationships with fans above their own needs. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time Kai appears on this list. 2019, Kai and Jenny. I'm pretty sure everyone remembers the breaking news when the rumors of Kai and Jenny dating popped up. Dispatch published photos from November of 2019 when the two were out on an alleged date at Hunnell Park. They were apparently the 33rd couple that Dispatch has exposed from 2008 to 2018. YG claimed that they weren't aware of the relationship, while SM confirmed the rumors by saying that they were fond of each other. You know, the standard company response. I don't think I have to talk about the hate they got yet again because Dispatch can't live without drama, but let's also take into consideration how much backlash Jenny gets for anything, so just imagine the comments she got after Dispatch posted these pictures. Uncanceling idols. Okay, all that I'm about to talk about right now doesn't undo all the horrible things that they have done, but hey, it's a big plus for them. Because in these specific events, instead of exposing another artist's private life to the public and causing a lot of uproar in the K-pop and K-drama stan community, the Korean media outlet decided to do some good for once with AOA's Dimin and Gim San Ho, whose careers were about to be ruined by false accusations. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past two years, you heard about what happened between AOA's former members, Dimin and Mina. But I'm going to very quickly walk you through it again for the sake of storytelling. In July 2019, through lengthy posts on Instagram, former AOA member Mina claimed that the group's leader, Dimin, mistreated her for 10 years and how, despite enjoying promoting the group, she eventually left AOA because she could no longer take it. Following the intense amount of hate she got, Dimin ended up writing an apology and left the group. But the Dimin and Mina saga would not end there. Mina continued to write and talk about what she allegedly went through during her time as a member of AOA, and Dimin's career seemed to be absolutely ruined. Literally everyone hated her. And then Dispatch came into the picture after months and months of constant hate that Dimin received. On September 8th, in an exclusive report, Dispatch revealed a 128 minute long transcript and series of text messages between the two idols that details what happened from 2020 up until today. This is where we should start questioning just how far their connections into the industry go for them to have recordings of conversations that took place inside of Mina's home. They even got screenshots of their conversations and the conversations between Mina and the staff. This report revealed that Mina forgave Jimin before she came out with her story. It also revealed that Jimin apologized to Mina despite her claiming she never did and showed how the other AOA members tried to reason with Mina. In addition, Dispatch also revealed Mina's text messages with FNC Entertainment's employees saying that Mina may also be the perpetrator. Based on the revealed text messages, Mina had made her managers book appointments on her behalf, such as an esthetician for her mother and how the younger staff members 
were scared of her tantrums and mood swings. Ever since the report, the public's opinion has drastically shifted from perceiving Mina as the victim to sympathizing with Jimin for having her career ruined due to false and very serious claims. The AOA members also feel safer to go out in public without being bashed for showing their faces. We even got to see pics of Jimin after two years. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it was all thanks to Dispatch. This is surprisingly not the only time they save someone's career instead of ruining it for some clicks. On October 17th, 2021, a day after the release of Hometown Cha Cha Cha's finale, an anonymous post got tons of attention on online platforms, which detailed the experiences of the ex-girlfriend of rising actor K, mostly because the people suspected that actor K was Kim Sun Ho. In the post titled, I am disclosing actor K's two-faced and shameless true nature, the writer called the actor a piece of trash without the slightest conscience or sense of guilt. The user also alleged that she was forced to terminate her pregnancy when she was pregnant with the actor's child. An excerpt from the note read, He made me my precious baby on the false promise of marriage and he me to make the sacrifice because he was sensitive when working on a project and because he was a star. I am going through severe psychological and physical trauma due to this. The claims were serious and the pixelated picture she posted led people to believe that actor K was Kim San Ho. That's all it took for people to start attacking him and for the companies and brands he had sponsorships with to drop him, not wanting to risk the backlash that came with collaborating with a controversial celebrity. Sun Ho apologized, his company released a terrible statement, and his career seemed to be over until Dispatch came along once again. It was suspicious that Dispatch stayed quiet for a few days until the whole issue unfolded, and then they shocked everyone when they published a detailed report titled, We Question Miz for Her Attempts of Character Assassination in Regard to Actor Gim Sun Ho. The publication then went on to list out 12 ignored truths from their relationship. In the article, Dispatch identified the ex-girlfriend and released a long apology that she had sent to Sun Ho during the relationship. They talked to his other friends and released their conversation with Gim Sun Ho, where he was talking about his relationship with his ex-girlfriend. Dispatch spoke to Gim Sun Ho and his ex's friends, who said that the post had distorted the truth behind their relationship. A detailed timeline of their relationship, including their first meeting to their breakup because of her unfaithfulness, was included. The ex's friends exposed the extensive spending of Sun Ho's money by the ex-girlfriend, disclosing that the ex used to brag about the designer product she bought with his money. The was also discussed in the report as the publication reached out to the friend and theater actor B, who had accompanied his ex to the clinic. The friend said that the couple looked extremely emotional before and after the procedure. Thankfully, this report was all it took for the entertainment and advertising industry to welcome him back with open arms. Not only did the brands that dropped him bring him back, but he also started getting cast in movies and shows once again and turned into the charming actor everyone knew and loved. After these two instances, it would be the plot twist of the century if Dispatch used all of their connections to help idols instead of potentially ruining their careers. Falsely accusing idols of terrible things like tormenting their former classmates seemed to be the trend this year and even caused Cube to kick idol Sujin out of the group despite her going into detail to defend herself and debunk all the accusations against her. So imagine how wonderful it would be for Dispatch to collect all the evidence they need so Sujin can be in the clear once and for all. Fans believe that Dispatch holds all the information they need to prove Sujin's innocence. But what if I told you that Dispatch doesn't do anything for free, unless they can profit on it on their own? The secret company deals. We can't deny that BTS are the biggest boy band in the world, so how come there's no news of them dating anyone by Dispatch? I mean, they've been a group for eight whole years, and fans and overall curious people would probably pay for some scoop on their dating lives. So why don't we have any knowledge on their dating life whatsoever? K-pop fans have a theory on that too, and it looks like there's some truth to it. Some watchful people have concluded that Big Hit, currently known as Hive, must have some sort of a deal with Dispatch whereby they leave BTS alone in exchange for exclusive access and photo shoots. BTS are so big now that continuing their working relationship together would be worth more to Dispatch than any clickbaity piece. Of course, none of them have confirmed this, but Dispatch did say they stopped following BTS altogether because the members are quite literally only focused on themselves, each other, and their group. This made people think that Hyde might have paid Dispatch good money to stay out of the members' business business, but if you put some thought into this theory, you'll realize that it's not that possible, because let's be real, Dispatch aren't the only paparazzi in existence. Due to their fame, BTS are now being followed by multiple media outlets, so if they had some significant dirt, then it would be out by now. K-media and media from all around the world probably want to find out some juicy gossip about the members because they seem too clean. With all this reasoning, it's also strange that when the Lee Taewon scandal involving Dungkook came out, Dispatch erased all posts and stories of BTS on Instagram months later. Although Dispatch removes photos and highlights of idols from time to time, netizens noted that this removal is peculiar because the BTS photos and highlights were on Dispatch's Instagram page for
for over two years. So people think that the contract between Hybe and Dispatch ended, and now Dispatch isn't restricted to post the dirt they have on the members anymore. I don't know what to think about this one, but I gotta say, it's definitely weird. Government cover-ups. With the theory about the company deals comes the theory that Dispatch may have a deal with the Korean government itself. This theory became especially popular when the dating rumors of G-Dragon and Jenny came out, but it's been going around for some time already. When the dating news was reported, the Seoul mayor took his own before he could face the accusations for sexual so people naturally thought the rumors were a cover-up for a much bigger, more serious issue. Western media has also used celebrities multiple times to cover up big issues happening at the time, so what's stopping the Korean entertainment industry from using the same methods, especially if they were proven to be successful? We should also consider that this wasn't the first time these dating news came out at the same time as political issues started popping up. The news about both Jiho and Daniel and Hee Chol and Momo were revealed when the Korean population started growing uneasy with North Korea's nuclear testing and South Korea's leadership, so how much of a coincidence can this be? On the other hand, I really don't think that the Korean population is obsessed with celebrity culture to the point that they would be distracted that easily from bigger problems that concern their country. Sure, the news about Jenny and Kai dating might seem like the end of the world to some of their younger fans, but to a random Korean netizen who's more concerned about things that actually affect their day-to-day -day life, it's just another day. So while this theory may be plausible in some way or the other, it also makes no sense at the same time. Is it morally correct? Dispatch exposing celebrity couples without their consent or approval is a grave invasion of their privacy. And it's not just during the New Year's that they do this. In fact, it goes year round. The New Year's revelation is when they get the most attention from others though. I've even seen people wait up to see what couple gets exposed next. Apparently, Dispatch usually approaches the agency and managers of the artist in question and gives them the option to either pay them or let the news be leaked. This isn't confirmed in any way, but I think we all have some idea of how the entertainment industry works and it's the same in any country. The example of paying off paparazzi and companies like Dispatch can even be seen in a popular K-drama, Crash Landing on You. When the character Yoon Seti is photographed with her new boyfriend, the managers ask her if she wants them to pay off the company, which they didn't call Dispatch, but Despatch, to not get those pictures leaked. In the show, Seti actually laughs it off and suggests that Despatch shouldn't even blur her face, but use a full shot of her body so she can promote the clothes and accessories she's wearing. So as you can see, this can be a turned around to kind of a profitable thing. Perhaps one of the very few good things things that Dispatch has done is promise that they'll never expose an LGBTQ plus couple. Considering how close-minded South Korea still remains to this community, it is a small compensation in the grand scheme of things. But even for straight couples, it can be quite harmful. A lot of times, fans stop standing the artist once they find out that their favorite idol is dating. I've also noticed that couples exposed by Dispatch often break up after a few months, or at the most, a year later. Though they state various reasons like busy schedules and more, which seems to be the go-to reason for these breakups, the shocks of being outed like that and the almost always negative reaction that comes with the dating news can obviously lead to issues. It's even more concerning when fans start to look forward to such exposés, because as soon as they start expecting it, Dispatch comes through and delivers. It's not possible to stop them when there's a demand. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye!